Translated as the beautiful era in French, the Belle de Poc encapsulated a period of tranquility and affluence characterized by rising prosperity and a flourishing art scene. Referred to as the Edwardian Age in Great Britain and the Gilded Age in the United States, this epoch represented an extraordinary and transformative phase in human history. The jewellery crafted during the Belle of Epoch was a reflection of the opulence and sophistication that defined this era. So let's explore the most famous Belle Epoch jewellery pieces. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. And if you wish to support me financially, you can do it via the super thanks button on YouTube or become my patron on Patreon. Link is in the description. Belle Epoque Diamond Giga Inspired by the artistic innovations of the time, Belle Epoque jewelers left their distinctive mark on creations that celebrated nature. Characterized by curved lines, natural forms, and an enchanting portrayal of magic and fairy tales, Belle Epoque jewelry often utilized gold, platinum, and occasionally silver adorned with old cut diamonds. Among the treasures of the Belle Epoque era is a remarkable white gold jigger, a turban ornament encrusted with diamonds. This exquisite piece, likely worn by a Maharaja on formal occasions, showcases a splendid array of old baguette and pear-shaped diamonds set in white gold. Created in 1907, the turban ornament features a plume holder on the reverse and its lower portion is detachable, allowing it to be worn as a brooch. This magnificent piece was auctioned in 2019 at Christie's, fetching a remarkable sum of over $1.8 million. Bourbon Parma Ruby Brooch Presented by Archduke Frederick of Austria to his daughter, Archduchess Marianne of Austria, Princess Elie de Bourbon Parma received this exquisite piece on the occasion of the birth of her son, Charles, in 1905. Crafted as a bow, the design features circular cut and rose diamonds with a central focus on a captivating cushion-shaped ruby weighing 6.89 carats. This precious gem is encircled by a border of cushion-shaped diamonds, creating a stunning ensemble. The central cluster is detachable, providing versatile wearability as a pendant with an additional fitting, or as a brooch and hair comb. The piece was expertly crafted by Backrutch. In 2018, this remarkable piece graced the auction floor at Sotheby's Geneva, fetching an impressive sum of more than $372,000. Lily Saffer's Eglantine's Necklace once possessed by the renowned socialite Lili Safra, the necklace, inspired by the Eglantine Rose, drapes gracefully against the skin, showcasing the exquisite craftsmanship of platinum. Though scarcely encountered or utilized before the early 19th century, platinum emerged as a favored material during and beyond that period. Recognized as the purest among precious metals, Platinum retains a lustrous appearance akin to silver while surpassing gold in durability. Cartier's Eglantine necklace likely represented an innovative technique when the esteemed jeweler opened boutiques in London and New York in 1902 and 1909. For many, this marked their first introduction to the remarkable potential of this resilient and malleable metal. The innate strength and rigidity of platinum facilitated the creation of intricate settings, pushing craftsmanship to unprecedented levels, as exemplified by this resplendent necklace that embodies the elegance of the Belle Epoque era. With an exceptional provenance tied to Lili Safra, this magnificent creation fetched a staggering $1.2 million at a Christie's auction, underscoring its historical significance and enduring beauty. The Bonaparte Olive Wreath Tiara, an extraordinary creation by Cartier, 
The diamond olive wreath tiara is adorned with 11 large cushion-shaped diamonds that can be interchanged with emeralds and rubies. The central pear-shaped diamond in the tiara, originally crafted for Princess Marie Bonaparte's wedding, can also be substituted with a large diamond star, allowing for a variety of versatile configurations. Commissioned for Princess Marie Bonaparte, who was a great crown niece of Napoleon Bonaparte, the tiara became a symbol of elegance and opulence. Following Princess Marie's demise in 1962, the tiara passed into the possession of her only daughter, Princess Eugenie of Greece. In 1999, the tiara, now without its central diamond, and the emeralds and rubies, found a new home when it was purchased by the Albion Art Institute. Cartier de Vente Corsage Brooch This exquisite corsage brooch stands as a remarkable testament to the opulence of the Belle Epoque era. Crafted by Cartier in 1912, it was commissioned by Solomon Barnato Joe, a tycoon who amassed his wealth through South African diamond mines. Joel contributed his four finest diamonds for the creation of this masterpiece. The pendant features a captivating centerpiece, adorned with a pear-shaped diamond weighing approximately 34.08 carats, an oval-shaped diamond weighing around 23.55 carats, and a marquise-shaped diamond weighing approximately 6.51 carats. The design is further enhanced by Lily of the Valley links, set with circular cut diamonds, suspended from two detachable lines similarly adorned. Each line culminates in a Paviset old cut diamond palmette terminal, all meticulously mounted in platinum. This extraordinary piece fetched over $16 million at a Christie's auction in 2019. Show me Westminster Tierra. Crafted by Chaumet circa 1910, this enchanting tiara boasts rows of diamonds in varying sizes, accented by diamond forget-me-nots, all set against a backdrop of vibrant blue enamel. The enamel serves as a unique substitute for the fabric kokoshniks, typically worn with non-solid tiaras. In 1911, the second Duke of Westminster, Hugh Grosvenor, acquired the tiara for his first wife, Constance Cornwallis West. While some historical accounts suggest it was a 10th anniversary gift, others draw a connection between the tiara's purchase and the 1911 coronation of King George V and Queen Mary. This remarkable piece changed hands at a Christie's auction in 2015, fetching approximately $700,000. Dame Nelly Melba's Cartier de Vente de Corsage. Belle Epoque jewellery is renowned for its graceful curves and intricate embellishments, featuring elements like wreaths, bows and ribbons. At the turn of the 20th century, Cartier stood as the premier jeweller globally, attracting commissions from the most influential figures in Paris, London and New York. A striking illustration of this era's opulence is the diamond and pearl devant de corsage. Crafted around 1902 by Cartier, its intricate openwork design tells a captivating story. Formerly gracing the collection of the Australian soprano dame Nellie Melba, who adorned herself with Cartier's impressive jewels both on stage and at notable public events, this piece has a distinguished history having descended through an English family. It was offered at Christie's auction in May 2023 with an estimate around $3 million. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.